let us study some chemical characteristics of carbon dioxide gas. Firstly, what are chemical characteristics? Well, these are those properties of a material which allows it to perform chemical reactions. So unlike physical properties which can be determined by simply viewing or smelling the substance, in chemical properties you need to perform certain reactions. So the chemical property of a material allows it to perform chemical reaction. Number second, the chemical property can only be determined when the chemical identity of the material is changed. So suppose the substance reacts with water and forms something different. So the chemical nature has been changed. So it, it differs from the physical properties. That is, it is not sensory. It cannot be determined by viewing or touching or smelling the substance. See the, in this video, we insert a glass jar over a burning candle. Well, this glass jar contains carbon dioxide gas. As you can see, the burning candle gradually dies off. So from this, we can infer that carbon dioxide is neither combustible nor a supporter of combustion. Now coming to action with water. What happens when carbon dioxide is reacted with water? So when carbon dioxide reacts with water, an acid called carbonic acid forms. So let us see this video. In this video, we are exhaling carbon dioxide gas in this solution. What happens? The solution initially turns milky. So when this person is bubbling carbon dioxide gas into the solution, it is turning milky. But as more carbon dioxide gas is blown into it, the solution turns clear. First turns milky, then it becomes clear. So what is happening? Let's see. Lime water is chemically known as calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. So when we blow in carbon dioxide gas into a solution of lime water, an insoluble substance known as calcium carbonate is formed along with water. So this insoluble substance makes the clear lime water milky. But when we exhale more, that is pass more carbon dioxide gas into the milky solution, which now contains the calcium carbonate, calcium bicarbonate forms, which is soluble in water. See, we have calcium bicarbonate as HCO3 minus, this is soluble in water, but in case of calcium carbonate, we had, which turned the water milky. So now you know when you blow in air in a solution containing lime water, firstly it will turn milky and then it will turn clear. So what happens when carbon dioxide gas reacts with alkalis? You remember what are alkalis? Alkalis are soluble bases, that is which have the hydroxyl radical in their structure. Okay, so we have sodium hydroxide. It is an alkali. When it reacts with carbon dioxide, it forms the corresponding metal carbonate. So the metal here is sodium. So it forms the corresponding metal carbonate, that is sodium carbonate. Along with that, water is released. Similarly, when you react potassium hydroxide, which is again an alkali with carbon dioxide, the corresponding metal carbonate in this case would be potassium carbonate. Along with that, water is released. So always remember, carbonate has the radical CO3 to minus. So the metal carbonates are formed whenever you react alkali with carbon dioxide gas. Now, if you treat carbon dioxide with metal, like we have taken magnesium here, what you get is the corresponding metal oxide. So we have the metal magnesium here. Magnesium oxide is produced along with carbon. Now, what about non-metal? When you treat carbon dioxide with non-metal, like we have taken hydrogen, which is a non-metal, you get methane, 
carbon monoxide and water. So see, methane is a hydrocarbon, that is, it contains hydrogen and carbon. So any compound having a combination of carbon and hydrogen are known as hydrocarbons and methane is one such example. Along with that, carbon monoxide is formed and water. Another important characteristic of carbon dioxide gas is that trees and green plants can absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to make their food. In order to do that, carbon dioxide is absorbed along with water in the presence of sunlight. So what happens? Green plants are taking up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, taking water from the roots and in the presence of sunlight, in the green plants, they have a pigment called chlorophyll. So, they prepare glucose, which is the food for the plants. Glucose is nothing but a sugar molecule. So, along with the food, oxygen is evolved. So, the entire process of using carbon dioxide gas along with water in the presence of sunlight and using chlorophyll pigment, the formation of food and oxygen is called photosynthesis. So let us summarize the various chemical properties of carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas is non-combustible, neither it supports combustion. So when you introduce a burning candle in a jar of carbon dioxide gas, the burning candle dies off. So carbon dioxide is neither combustible nor does it support combustion. Now carbon dioxide gas reacts with water to form carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide also reacts with lime water. What is lime water? Lime water is calcium hydroxide. So carbon dioxide reacts with lime water to first turn it milky. It turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate. Then when excess of carbon dioxide is passed in the milky solution, the solution turns clear due to the formation of calcium bicarbonate. Carbon dioxide can also react with alkali. Now what are alkali? Alkali are soluble bases like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So when alkali react with carbon dioxide, it forms the corresponding metal carbonate. Now carbon dioxide can also react with metals and non-metal. When it reacts with metal, it forms the corresponding metal oxide and along with that, carbon is produced. So, metal reacts with carbon dioxide to produce metal oxide and carbon. Now, carbon dioxide reacts with non-metal like hydrogen. Upon reacting with hydrogen, carbon dioxide forms a special class of compound known as hydrocarbons. Along with that, carbon monoxide and water is produced. Now carbon dioxide can also be used up by plants. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in order to make their food and this process is known as photosynthesis. <laughs>